This is Judy Jacobs from the TechWizard.com, bringing you tech tips to make your life easier. Today I'm going to demonstrate how to change the password on Apple Wi-Fi devices. Now you can do this from an Apple computer, a PC computer, an iPad, or an iPhone. All you need to do is make sure you download the app Airport Utility. Once you do that, you open it up, and let's do that right now. I'm going to, I have the app in my dock, which you can see right there. However, if it were not in my dock, and I'm trying to find it, on a Mac computer, I would just touch Command and hold it down in the space bar and begin to type in the name of the app that I'm looking for. There it is. Just going to hit the Enter key and up pops a visual diagram of my network and devices. Now, as you can see, I have a whole lot of devices. I have great difficulty with Wi-Fi in my house. We have an older house. And I also have my office on the property, so I need um, to extend the network and run the network from um, several different locations. To change the password on your Wi-Fi network, you're going to have to change it on every device. And I recommend you start changing it with the unit that emits the Wi-Fi signal. And to do that, all you're going to do is click on the device, and then you're going to click Edit. Now, you can see that I have named this device my network name shows here, the IP addresses, and all the people that are currently, or devices that are currently using the network. When you click Edit, you then get the setup panel and configuration tools for that one device. And as you'll notice here, I have named each device separately so that I know exactly where they are and which one I'm working on and not get confused. Now, I'm on the first tab by default, which is all about the base station or device. This is where you would change the name of the device. You can set up or change the password for the device. That is, to allow someone to get in to make changes to the device, the device they must know the password for it. Next, let's go right to this wireless tab right here. And here you have your wireless network name. I highly recommend that you do not associate your name with your network. In other words, if your name is Mary Smith, do not put Mary Smith's network or the Smith family network. Think of a name that won't identify to you, that won't identify you to peeping, um, network stealers or anything like that. Just keep it anonymous. You can keep it fun. The Sherwood Forest, the Shark Tank, whatever you want. But that this is where you would name your network. And here is where you set or change your password. Make sure whatever you do, that once you change the password, whether it's to the base station or you create a password and you create the name for the device, it's all written down, preferably in a password management app like 1Password, or at least in Evernote or your notes somewhere where it's synced in the cloud and safe. Anyway, you can see that I have double clicked or I have clicked on the wireless pa password area. Once you go to change it, then you're going to hit update and your device will reset and the new password will be active on your network. And then you're going to have to reconnect all of your machines or devices to the network, and you're gonna to have to tell everybody what your new password is. That's it, I hope this tech tip has been helpful. If you have any questions, please let me know by sending me an email at help at the techwizard.com, or you can reach out to me on my Facebook page, The Mobile Tech Wizard. Or shout me a uh, tweet at jlj jacobs three five six. Hope you're having fun and having a great day.